So before I start this video on bite-sized bass hacks, uh, I wanted to point out what's going on here. I, I did my 5,000 subscriber video and I talked about setting up a legitimate home theater inside of an RV. And part of that process is going to be mounting these uh, SVS elevation speakers up here. And I'm trying to work up the courage to actually drill holes in this thing. Uh, it's not going well. Uh, I'm trying to, to just get there. But um, but I told SVS about this project. Uh, for those of you that aren't aware, I'm their uh, original affiliate and uh, they're really excited. And so uh, they're supplying all the gear I need to actually make this happen. Um, and so, and for those of you that don't know, I had a, a dining room set where I was trying to figure out all these different things, how I'm gonna set it up. And what I did is actually just took it out. Uh, I just took out that, that really nice Corian tabletop and the chairs that had the upholstery that matches the coach and all that. I just took it out. And uh, the reason is, is I was able to mount the TV to the base plate that mounted the table. So that actually worked out really well. Uh, you know, yes, I would still like to have the functionality of the table and all that. But, um, but anyway, so that's what's happening. That's why you're seeing all of this. Uh, these are the PB2000s, uh, which I'm really happy about. I really like these subs. So by taking out the table and all that, I was able to mount the TV uh, to the same mounting plate that held the, the table. And so that's why it's set up that way. And that's why you're seeing bare wood there. That's going to be fixed. And I also want to call out something else because I know when I hear it, I've already heard it from my wife. Uh, <laughs> these are uh, $15 shelving units from uh, Walmart. And yes, I know that my Blu-ray player is not supposed to go on top of the amplifier. Again, I'm just figuring things out. Normally your pillow doesn't go underneath your center channel, but again, Again, this is all just figuring things out. And part of that was, I was gonna mount these ultra bookshelves up here in the uh, these corner units and you know insulate them, take the doors off, do all these things. But I got this in here and I set the speakers in just to try it and I'm like, you know what, that works. So I'm gonna have to do some things to brace it and keep everything uh, as it is. I, I did actually uh, go somewhere in this thing and I took these and laid them down on the bed in the back and everything went fine. So uh, that worked. Uh, I tried a couple different stands and uh, it wasn't working as well as I like, so I actually had to build my own. Um, so anyway, that's just kind of what's going on. So if I had just started this video and you guys saw this, you'd be like, Whoa, what's going on? So uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and start the, the Bite Size Base Hacks video now. So welcome to another installment of Bite Size Base Hacks. And this is a, basically a series all about short, easily digestible hacks to really improve your home theater. And I explain each one and what they're doing and the purpose of these hacks. And uh, this one, I don't know if I'd qualify it so much as a hack, but something that every person that has home theater uh, would really appreciate knowing. And I'm gonna call this the Dolby Atmos hack, but there's really a, a number of different things that this works for. Uh, it works for Dolby Atmos, uh, Dolby True HD, it works for DTS Master and DTS X. Uh, it's just a very good setting to have. Uh, and the thing is, the frustrating thing is, is every Blu-ray player you get, well, I, I'm, I'm making blanket statements, I can't do that, but, almost every Blu-ray player I'm aware of. Uh, and if you know of one that doesn't come out like this, please let me know. Uh, but it has a default setting called BD Audio Mix, or uh, they've got a couple of different names for it. But essentially, if you have this uh, set like this, and, and, and like I said, the most of them come out default like this, your Dolby Atmos or your DTSX will not work. Uh, and it's frustrating, it's maddening, because the thing is you can go out and spend thousands of dollars on Dolby Atmos and, and the whole setup. Uh, and the thing is, is you get it set up, you get, them, you get the height speakers in there and all that stuff, and it, you hear the sound, so you think, okay, it's working. But for me, it happened, I, I got all this stuff set up, and I heard it was just a, a great experience. And when I got it all set up, I was just, it was just kind of lackluster for me. I wasn't like, oh, wow, this is great. I'm like, okay, well, I, I kind of get it. Uh, I watched several movies in Atmos, and uh, I wasn't that impressed. And I realized, well, it's because I didn't have Atmos actually going to the amplifier. I had two problems. Uh, one is I was running the Blu-ray player to the TV and then back to the amplifier. Well. A lot of times that doesn't allow for lossless formats. Uh, Atmos and, and DTSX, they use a lot of uh, bandwidth and uh, the normal ARC or audio, audio return channel that uh, goes over the HDMI from your TV to your amplifier, uh, 
the previous versions did not have enough bandwidth, so you could not get uh, Atmos and VTSX through that. So it was a more convenient setup to run it through the TV first, uh, you know, from the Blu-ray player to the TV, and then uh, to the amplifier. But you couldn't get uh, Dolby Atmos that way. Now you got some newer TVs that will allow that, but there's a lot of TVs out there that won't. Uh, the other thing was the BD Audio Mix setting. Uh, that's on the uh, Sony Blu-ray player. Uh, it might be called something else on your particular brand, but uh, for I've, I happen to have two uh, Sony Blu-ray players. One's a 4K, one's a regular. And so you had to turn that off. You had to turn off the BD Audio Mix in order for your amplifier to actually get the signal. So uh, so when I first did it, I, I first plugged it into the amplifier thinking that would fix everything. Well, I still didn't get Atmos. See, I, I was getting sound through the speakers and I would just, it was kind of lackluster and it wasn't that great. And I, I looked it up in the manual and the manual said, well, you should see Atmos when Atmos is playing. Well, I didn't get that. I had uh, Dolby Digital, you know, two or something. It, it wasn't. It wasn't Atmos, and I recognized that once I started looking into this. Well, so I finally uh, got that switch and got Atmos playing. Okay, uh, so I, I sent the Blu-ray player to the amplifier, and I disabled the uh, uh, BD Audio Mix setting. And the first movie we watched was Dracula, Bram Stoker's Dracula, and or Bram Stoker's. Anyway, uh, so we'd seen this movie many times. And, you know, it's a good movie. Uh, thing is, that scene where he, he first walks up to the castle and you hear all these rats going around. Without the Dolby Atmos setting, without it getting the true full Dolby Atmos, it's okay. You can make some things out. It, it's okay. When you have it engaged, it sounded like the rats were running across the ceiling. Uh, it, they do a really good job, uh, both Atmos and ETSX, of placing the sound between the speakers, okay? So up above, you'll have different speakers and it'll sound like the sound's coming from between the speakers, uh, which you go back to the regular setting uh, to where you're not getting the full Atmos and at least for me, I could really tell the difference. And so when we first saw that scene, not only did the rats sound like they're scurrying right above our heads, which is kind of eerie, uh, but we also could hear the moans and what people were actually saying uh, in the background. So it didn't just make the, the, the elevated sound uh, come through better and more clear, but everything came through much clearer. So for me, this was important to incorporate to the bite size bass hacks because uh, the whole purpose of this playlist is to be able to start from the beginning and go through to the end and watch these little three to five minute videos and just really tune up your whole home theater. That's my, my whole goal with this. And this one's a biggie. If you don't have this setting right and you've gone and spent all this money uh, and, and tried to get everything set up, oh, I could see it being so uh, disheartening. But once you get this set up, it's like everything starts jiving. It's, it's a secret handshake. And so it works so much better. Uh, and another thing I'll point out is I'm, I'm running uh, the uh, Denon X2000 down there, it's not Dolby Atmos capable. It doesn't work on Dolby Atmos, but it does get Dolby True HD and uh, DTS Master. So uh, it does pay to still do this on that. So it's not Dolby Atmos specific, it's not DTS specific. Uh, it, it works with your lossless formats. Uh, and so, and again, some of you might be new to all this stuff, and uh, that's the whole thing I, I shoot for as, as I'm kind of working. Uh, a lot of my videos are for new people. And basically these are just high bandwidth settings to where it, it your sound just comes out a lot better. Uh, so check that out, um, you know, mess around with it. Uh, I did a longer video on this, I'll put the, a link down below, uh, but hopefully this should help. Uh, if you haven't seen the other videos in this series, uh, check out the whole playlist. I'll put the links down in the description below. Uh, I put uh, links to all the equipment and things like that. I have affiliate links down there. So if you like the channel, uh, it, you're finding it helpful, please follow my affiliate links down in the description below. Uh, um, I, I've got several affiliates. Uh, I've got Amazon. Uh, I've got SVS, which I'm very proud of. Um, their original affiliate. Uh, they've been really cool about sending out all this equipment uh, for this project. So uh, thank you, SVS. I, I really appreciate that. Um, you know, I've got uh, Mono Price. Uh, I've, I've got several affiliates out there. So uh, I'm really 
uh, working on that. Uh, but if you follow the links down in the description below, it really helps out with this channel. Uh, and, and I appreciate all the support, the, the comments, the likes, uh, the subscriptions, things like that. It really makes a big difference. So thank you so much. Uh, again, hopefully this helps. And let me know if you have any feedback on this. If you have a newer TV that allows it to where you can plug in from your Blu-ray player to your TV and you still get everything through your uh, amplifier, that's great because for me, that's an easier way to do everything. Uh, I used to have it all simplified. Now I have to use three remotes instead of two. So, uh, but anyway, uh, hopefully that helps. Again, thanks so much for watching and please subscribe.